What were you thinking working with Zest? Why waste your time with him? Uh, waste? I beg to differ, my good captain. As Zest himself said, he is our top candidate for the inheritance of Deus. Who am I to question it if he's finally putting forth some effort? This can only be good fortune for our order. You'd allow a power-hungry non-believer like Zest to mantle Deus. You see nothing wrong with that arrangement. What's to allow or disallow, hmm? The aim of the Sanguine Church has always ever been to restore our Lord Deus to this world. Nowhere in scripture is the shape of his vessel described, and Zest, by my data, has the highest compatibility rating of any candidate. It's a fluke! What about all those generations of careful breeding, of cultivation, of devotion? What becomes of the disciples of Deus now? Oh, that. Yes, that project no longer offers anything of value to my work. Misfortunate, but such is the nature of progress. Nothing of value? Damn it all, Yoahim. And another thing, with regard to Zest's unprecedented compatibility rating, is this too not revelation from Almighty Deus? Has he not made his chosen vessel apparent in this, our hour of seeking? <sighs> Zest couldn't care less about Deus, or even the faith. He does not deserve the mantle. Georg, Georg, my friend, my captain. Are we not swords of the church? Is our purpose not to see its will realized in the world? You aren't wrong. Then stow your foolish pride and help me prepare Zest to mantle almighty Deus. No. Absolutely not. I will inherit our Lord's blessing and no other. Oh, Georg, that's a dangerous line of thought. Entitling yourself to the gifts of Deus. Is that pride I'm hearing or heresy? Keep up that rhetoric and I'll have no choice but to file a report with the Inquisition, you know. You would charge me with heresy? Of all the... I would and I will. If you keep up this idiotic messiah complex, and should that come to pass? Why, all this talk of compatibility ratings would be the least of your worries in the face of excommunication, my dear captain. Now, are you a sword of the church or a sword against it? Which will it be? You think to make demands of me? Give me orders. What kind of fool? I am no fool! Don't you understand? I am chosen, blessed with divine genius, and tasked with greatness itself. You don't even understand a word I'm saying, do you? You can't hear yourself. If you believe all that, you are truly lost, Joachim. Lost? If anyone here is lost, it's you, my poor captain. You think your tongue is making words, but all I hear is heretical babble. Then allow me to translate. <laughs> Had you forgotten, Yoahim, what it means to make an enemy of me? I name you fool because you are a fool to let that slip your mind. <laughs> Come, come now, Captain. You can't kill me. <laughs> you need me to mantle Deus, yes. Otherwise, you'll never... The pieces have found their final places upon the board. Your services are no longer required. Misfortunate, but such is the nature of progress. And now, I will claim my inheritance, my birthright, and mine alone! Everyone, 
It's an emergency! Th th there's an Imperial flag flying outside! What? When did they get here? We would have spotted any movement. I don't know who the messenger is, but he says he's the commander. Commander? Is Georg showing himself? I... I don't know his name, but, but he wants us to bring him the Shining Dragon. His Radiance? They want Yuma, do they? We won't know what their real intentions are until we get out there and have a look. Let's go. You're here! Nah. Zest? What are you doing here? Ah, uh, you know. Stuff happened. Georg can't come out to play, so I'm Knight Commander now. First, I've got something to tell you as Supreme Commanding Officer of this army. As of this morning, military operations in Alfheim are over. I've ordered a full retreat. What? You're pulling out? Just like that? Just like that. The mainland sliding into chaos over succession this, rightful heirs that. No state to fight a war in. They're out. They? So... Oh, I'm not going anywhere. In fact, all of Beowulf's knights are still sworn to the cause. Unlike the Imperial government, the Church needs that shining dragon. And he's here. Not back on the mainland. So you still haven't given up on the resurrection? Of course not. I don't buy it. This isn't like this guy at all. Hey, Zest, how do we know any of what you're saying is true? <laughs> still skeptical? Feast your eyes. <gasps> That's Georg's sword! You know it. It's Gallerhorn. Georg's badge of authority. Well... Believe me now? I told you I'm in charge. <laughs> so if you're still set on stopping the resurrection, it's not Georg you're after at all. It's me. For the ritual to go on, we need the Shining Dragon's energy. And for that, I need Yuma. Well, not all of him. I just need to rip my victory from his chest. You get it yet? This... This is where we end it all. Well, not here, here. I don't want anyone butting in, and I'm sure you don't want to fight so close to your precious city. Come on. I'll be waiting at Sleepy Hollow once you've found your spine. <laughs> And there he goes. What is his deal? Why do you have to come all this way just to taunt us and buzz off? And he's suddenly on board with resurrecting Deus? I thought he couldn't care less about all that. Well, he's still a member of the Sanguine Church. Maybe those teachings finally got to him. You're saying what? Like he's having a crisis of faith since Yuma beat him? Whatever his reasons are, he has Gallerhorn to back it all up. We can probably assume he's telling the truth about taking command. So if we defeat Zest, we can stop the resurrection of Deus. That seems like the logical conclusion, but we still have no idea how much he's strengthened since the last time. We've seen what the Dragon Imperator is capable of, and we've seen the destruction Zest can cause without it. Together... Together they make for fearsome foes! What a predicament! At least he doesn't have Georg's ridiculous healing thing. It should be easier to fight him knowing every hit we land is gonna stay there, right? <sighs> Small comfort, that. You realize how difficult it is to land a hit on him in the first place? Yeah, yeah. Screw me for trying to show a little optimism, I guess. Jeez, dude. It doesn't matter how fast he is or how hard we hit. At this point, we have no choice. The path to stopping Deus is through Zest. You must right. Besides, we've beaten him once already. We'll win again, I'm sure of it. With me, everyone. We're going to Sleepy Hollow. Huh? 
How's it going? Welcome. Take your pick. This one, thanks. 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 Have a nice day. Welcome. Take your pick. Take your pick. This one, thanks. Have a nice day. Hey there, welcome. What did you have in mind? Come back any time. Do 
Got it. No matter what, I have to stop you. And if this is where you want it to end, then let's end it. I won't let you resurrect Deus. Huh? Oh, the ritual. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, nah. Sorry, I don't really care about any of that. What? What did you just... 
You really thought I had a spiritual rebirth or something? Come on, man. I'm devoted to one thing. Defeating you. Why am I not surprised? The way he started spewing sanguine ideals? I wasn't like him at all. Hey, either way, if you want to stop the resurrection, you gotta come and get the sword. I've been thinking, you know, ever since you guys beat me, what true strength really is. Then I finally started to see what Yuma's strength was and why I lost. He's weak, but he's always striving for more. Me? After communion, I stopped trying to become stronger. Is that what true strength is, Yuma? The will to keep climbing. You're partly right. Yuma does embody those things, but they're not what make him strong. He's... You shut up. I'm not here to banter with the ignorant and the weak. I'm about to get my answers firsthand. We talk with steel. Come on. You know what I want, don't you? A fight to make my heart beat out of my chest. A fight of my life. Let's do it!